two A alarm, press the accept test button. If alarm is latched, you go through the cycle button until you find one with the asterisk sign. This means this fault is latched. You then hold the accept test button for three seconds until it turns the uh, asterisk to a chevron sign. Then you cycle through again, back to OK, then press once. Unscrew all four screws. So we're just going to unclip the battery there, or the battery, the sensor, sorry. I'm going to just unscrew it and pull it out. And then now we can see all the cables. So you just need to make sure that each cable is in the correct connector. So this one says orange pair, this is the orange pair, the brown pair, the brown pair, green, green again, then it's the orange pair again, brown pair, green, green, and then we've got the blue. You need to make sure that each and every single one is securely inserted and is screwed in. Then you also need to make sure that there's no copper. If there's a bit of copper sticking out, unscrew the cable. Take it out. You might need to twist it and fiddle with it to fit it back in the connector block and securely insert. And then screw. So this is a jumper. You just need to make sure that every jumper has a unique position. So that if this is sensor one, the jumper position is in sensor one. If it's sensor two, it's in the position two. Sensor three, it's in the position three. Sensor four, in the position four. The positions are on the side of each prong. So let's move back to jumper one. And then just fit the sensor back on, like so. Line it up, twist it, and connect it back. And then just screw this and back, making sure no cables are sticking out, and screw back in.